Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss intercept on the axis in case of a circle. As we know that if a point lies on x axis in the coordinate system then its y coordinate is 0 that is y is equal to 0 similarly on y axis the x coordinate is 0 That is, x is equal to 0. Now let us consider the general equation of the circle. x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. To find x intercept, we put y is equal to 0 in the equation of the circle. Therefore, we have x square plus 0 square plus 2gx plus 2f into 0 plus c is equal to 0 and this will result into a quadratic equation in x only that is x square plus 2gx plus c is equal to 0 and on solving this equation that is x square plus 2gx plus c is equal to 0, we will get two values of x. And the algebraic difference of the two values of x gives the length of the x-intercept Now to find y-intercept, we put the value of x is equal to 0 in the equation of the circle. Therefore, we get 0 square plus y square plus 2g into 0 plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 and this results into a quadratic equation in y only that is y square plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. Now on solving this equation that is y square plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 we will get two values of y The algebraic difference of the two values of y gives the length of the y-intercept
Let us take an example. Find the length of the intercepts on the circle x square plus y square plus 2x plus 2y minus 3 is equal to 0. For x intercept, we put y is equal to 0 in the equation of the circle. Therefore, the equation will reduce to x square plus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 after putting y is equal to 0 in the given equation which can also be written as x square plus 3x minus x minus 3 is equal to 0 on taking x common from the first two terms we have x into x plus 3 and taking minus 1 common from the last two terms we have minus 1 into x plus 3 which is equal to 0 which implies that x minus 1 into x plus 3 is equal to 0 therefore x is equal to 1 and minus 3 x minus 1 is equal to 0 implies that x is equal to 1 and x plus 3 is equal to 0 implies that x is equal to minus 3. Hence, the circle cuts off an intercept of three units in the negative direction and one unit in the positive direction therefore length of the x intercept which is equal to the algebraic difference of the two values of x that is minus 3 minus 1 which is equal to minus 4 therefore length of the x intercept will be 4 units now to find out the y intercept we put x is equal to 0 in the given equation of the circle and we get y square plus 2y minus 3 is equal to 0 which implies that y is equal to minus 3 and 1. We have the equation y square plus 2y minus 3 is equal to 0 which can be written as y square plus 3y minus y minus 3 is equal to 0. Now taking y common from the first two terms we get y into y plus 3 and taking minus 1 common from the last two terms we get minus 1 into y plus 3 which is equal to 0. Therefore we get y minus 1 into y plus 3 is equal to 0 which implies that y is equal to 1 and y is equal to minus 3. Hence, the circle cuts off intercepts of three units in the negative direction and one unit in the positive direction therefore length of the y intercept which is equal to the algebraic difference of the two values of y 
that is minus 3 minus 1 which is equal to minus 4. Therefore, length of the y intercept will be 4 units. This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed this session.